Okay, boys and girls, right now it's reading time. Okay, if you can sing it. You can do it. All right. In sports, there's a phrase offered as high praise, a pro's pro. In education, Melissa Collins, second grade teacher at John P. Freeman Optional School, could likewise be described as a teacher's teacher. Her list of accolades, already impressively long, includes being named 2014 West Tennessee Grand Division Teacher of the Year. She's received the Presidential Award for Excellence in Mathematics and Science Teaching and is a recipient of the 2013 Horace Mann Award for Teaching Excellence. To those honors and others, you can now add participant in the NEA's 2014-15 Science Master Teacher Project. As a member of a cohort of 65 of the nation's top K-12 science teachers, she will collaborate on the creation of more than 6,000 Common Core related lessons to be used by teachers across the United States. All of which leads to the obvious question, what makes her so good? For answers, we turn to her students and her former principal. She's a hands-on type of person. Uh, she also uh, relates whatever the students are doing to real life. And that just makes the learning a little bit more interesting for the students. They're able to see the importance of why they're learning a specific skill. And with her having those qualities, I think that she just makes the learning uh, more enjoyable for the students. I like the work that she gives us how she treated us, and what she did to let us learn more and more things. The best thing is doing um, the fun science experiments Be because it's teaching us things and we're also getting to learn other things using science. What was the last science experiment you got to do? We got to see how much water could one type of paper towel hold. We, the three options were Bounty, Family Dollar Brand, and Sparkle. Wow. And what was the answer? The answer was a Bounty. Collins herself says she's a great teacher because... I'm not afraid to go ask questions. I uh, feel that even though that I'm a highly effective teacher, that I work with other new and veteran teachers to find out what work and what does not work for teachers. Also, after each lesson uh, that I plan, I always try to reflect uh, about what I could modify, change, or maybe keep the same for the benefit of all students. Melissa Collins says two people put her on the path to becoming a teacher. Opal Jackson, her first grade teacher, and her father. I wanted to be like Opal Jackson, who understood how to develop the whole child. And that it didn't matter if I needed to take away, just for a moment, uh, remove myself from academics to work on that child socially and emotionally. Then I wanted to be like my father and transform students' lives and let them know that I am your mother. Even great teachers face their challenges. I would say my biggest challenge as a teacher would be uh, walking in this room every day, room eight, and giving it my all to make it engaging and fun for students. And even though it's engaging and fun, I want to make sure that I'm challenging them so that I can maximize results. Ms. Collins looks forward to her next challenge, which will be creating science lessons to be used by teachers across the country. Although taking what she's learned in an urban education setting and making it relevant to different educational environments across the country is going to take some doing, there is no doubt she is ready for the work ahead. I am going to become a better teacher as well as help other teachers see the vision of my classroom and how they can become, uh, how they can teach effective less science lessons every day. Dr. Melissa Collins, 13-year educator and another classroom superstar 
putting Shelby County Schools on the national map.